When it comes to generating a random string in Bubble, it's not really just about how do I do this or what do I click on, which you'll get in this video, but it's also about the context around what is being done with this string and why is it being created. So in this video, stay tuned and you'll learn both. If you're coming to this video, you probably already know what these random strings uh, are and why they're useful. They're put into the URLs. They're a unique identifier about what this item is in your database. But, and you probably are here because you know that the challenge with the unique IDs that Bubble creates is that they are massively long. Like this one from Airbnb is pretty long for this listing and you know, bubbles are even longer. So you're probably looking for a way to have more uh, share shareable, share-friendly URLs so that you can send those to people with, and, and it's possible for a human to, you know, like type in not 25 characters, but more like six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So let's actually dive in and look at the math behind how you can choose the number of characters that you're gonna create, and then we'll dive into doing this over in Bubble. So. Depending on really the number of items that you're going to create, that's going to tell you how many characters you can get away with. Now there's a balance here. You want to make a, you want to have a shorter number of characters because it's easier for a person to look at, remember, and use. But if you are going to use lots of those items in your database, like a million in the case of six characters, well then every time you generate uh, one of these, you know, on your way to generating all a million, you're gonna start to run into problems where it's gonna try to randomly generate a number. Now this is six characters. This is based on uh, the zero through, zero, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up till nine. And then A through Z, both uh, capitalized and lowercase. So it takes all of those characters, looks at them and says, here's all the possible com combinations. Um, it's roughly something like that. Don't quote me if you're like, hey, it's not 56.8 billion, it's 72.5. You know, um, it's close enough. But so the idea here is that we want to know how many of these items is it that we're going to be creating. So that's question number one to ask yourself. Now, question number two is, do you want to just create this and then really not worry about it? Not do any checks like when the ID is being created? Hey, has it already been used? It's like if you have 950,000 items in your database and every time someone's adding something, you're running that check. To me, that's a lot of workflow things their workflow units to be running in bubble. So I prefer to just add an extra character. I mean, look at this from 218 trillion. We go from 3 trillion, 218, 13.5 quadrillion. I don't even know what that is, a quadrillion. I guess it's what's above trillion. And then you, you know, get up to 10 characters and now you're in kind of like crazy land where you would not be able to think about each of those individual items with, uh, with your brain. <laughs> Or if you can, maybe you're already logged into Neuralink. Um, but okay, so the probability of collision um, here is obviously incredibly low, meaning if you're only playing on 10,000 items, then um, go with, you know, probably maybe one that's easier to remember because one in 4.3 million, I'd say that's good. Eight characters, I would build my thing without worrying and just knowing that one out of every 435 0.35 million times there might be an error i can live with that here's your friendly summary if you're choosing this how do i select it well if you have up to a thousand items of whatever it is you're creating for these random strings six characters you're good in fact you know it's i didn't even go as low as a thousand because it's just so low but if you have ten thousand things uh it's worth suggesting here that we're as in me and the ai helper that i use to do this math is that this is probably you're good to go one of 70 70 000 times up to 100 000 items eight characters up to a million items nine characters over a million items 10 characters so let's now get out of math and let's get into how to do this over in bubble so we're going to add a workflow here and i'm just going to note that i already have on the page here if we look at this there is a random id we're going to fill that in then we're gonna assign it here. So that is random strings ID. That'll show up in just a moment. And let's go and do that. So we'll set the state of, of something and we'll set the state of this item with the value 
We'll do calculate formula, and this is where the, all the magic is. We'll do generate a random string. We'll say the length of characters. In our case, we're gonna go with eight. We'll say use letters, use non-capitalized, use numbers. Probably don't use special characters because basically all three of these work fine in a URL. If you're not using this for a URL, I still don't recommend using special characters. Um, you know, if you did, the the, the number of uh, the length of characters would, would shorten, but you might have higher percentages of you know errors or possible issues just because of how systems work. You'll just note that um, you know you you very rarely see uh, you know semicolons in a URL, and there's a reason for that. Okay, so we've got that going. Let's go now and head out to our preview thing here where we will generate a random string and boom. So we can see here, it's as simple as that. And then you'll obviously, in your world, you would have a, you know, you'd store this value probably just not on the screen. You'd store it with the thing that's being created during the time of that uh, creation. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more tips about Bubble, and thanks so much for watching.